All right, our project for today, this is my cousin's hay spear. And it's a hay spear and fork combination, sort of like what we made for Mike to use. And this one's got the, I don't know what you'd call it, but the, the buckboard or whatever on it for when you're carrying pallets or stuff on the forks. Kind of helps stabilize things and protects you front of your tractor and hmm <coughs> and all that but the issue he's having when he's stacking hay in his shed is um this here is hitting the top of the top of the shed inside when he's trying to put the third bell on the top um, so he kind of wants that when he's using his forks, but he wants to be able to take it off when he's using the spear so he can stack that hay higher. So what we're going to do probably is try to cut it off, maybe, uh, bolt it, fix a plate and, uh, bolt it back on to where it can be, um, easily removed to some extent. I don't know how easy it'll be, but. We will uh, do some experimentations here and see what we can come up with. But in the process of doing that, um, Vivor, which you've seen me advertise some of their projects, products before, they have sent me this magnetic drill. And uh, I have a magnetic drill mag drill at school that we use a lot and they're a handy handy tool and i'm telling you this one is pretty well made it's got brass um bushings or slides in there for it to raise up and down uh it's good and tight it adjusts easy well made uh you know i don't know how long the motor will last i've not even used it i ain't even turned it on plugged it up really neat drill it's uh Comes with this little jug that you can mount to the side of it for uh, cutting oil. Has a hose that runs down in here and it feeds cutting oil as you're drilling. I don't have that put on yet because I don't have any cutting oil here. I've got to, I'll have to get some. Um, comes with these annular, I call them annular cutters, um, but it comes with these. I'll pull one out and show you. Um, as you can see, when you drill your hole, it kind of takes a slug out instead of drilling the whole diameter of the hole and having to remove all those shavings. They, these work nice, um, are the ones that I've got at school do. And it's got a little pin here that goes up inside to this and then it'll go inside of your drill. And that, if you got a hole center punched or a pilot hole drilled or anything, that'll line up down in that center punch and get you perfectly lined up to drill your hole. The only bad thing is, uh, these are all metric bits. Um, so, you know, I guess you could oversize your holes just slightly or whatever um, for standard stuff. But um, that's all came with it. That's pretty good. Uh, I have to look up the price. I'll post it here at the bottom. But it was, you know, the drill's like 200 and some dollars, seems like. The one that I have at work is uh i believe it was like twelve hundred dollars and pretty similar pretty similar in size but uh, anxious to try that thing out i i believe that's going to be a good drill also we're going to use our vivor plasma cutter and cut that off with that's three-eighths metal so we'll use it to cut that with and um We'll get started here in a minute, but I'll have have links to the uh, plasma cutter and the drill in the video. If you'll check them out, that'll help help me and uh, kind of it, it helps you all too because you know if people go on there and purchase stuff or view the links and that type of thing, um, they're more apt to send me things to try, which gives you all some feedback on these tools uh before you buy them because 
like I said before, that plasma cutter is something I never would have bought. But because of the price, I just would have thought it wouldn't have been any good. But after using it, um, I was impressed with it. And hopefully it'll hold up and be a good tool for some time. And they, they've been some people, some of you have bought them uh, off the link, I've noticed. And I appreciate all of you that has done that. And I just appreciate everybody that watches the channel. I, I really do. I'm blown away with the support I get and stuff, and I just I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, we'll get this drill set up with a bit. You got two set screws, two flat places on the bit. You got to make sure your little center piece is in it. Uh, get it slid up in there. Make sure it's lined up with the the flat spots are lined up with your set screws. And tighten them down. And something I forgot to mention a minute ago, I think, is this thing did come with a regular standard drill chuck that can be added to it. Now that switch turns your magnet on and you next to start your drill. Now like a piece like this, yeah, you could drill that with a, uh, a drill press pretty easy, a regular drill press. But when I go to put these on the uh, frame over there, I'm going to have to drill holes and that's when this mag drill will show show its colors right there it'll really help it'll shine i guess you could say <laughs> it off let me get me a rag you always want to make sure you're setting these on a good clean a good clean surface before you clamp them down magnet magnet them down Full disclosure, I like this thing better than the name brand one I've got at school. It's just smoother operating, I think. I like, I mean, it's good. I mean, that, that, what, that, that thing drills easy. <laughs> the 
there's no wiggling and wobbling to it. And then to change this chuck out, it's just got a little adapter that locks in here and then you put your drill chuck up on it. That other one, you have to disassemble a whole big frame up here on the front and of the drill and stuff to, to put the drill chuck on it. And then the same thing to switch it back to the annular cutters. Uh, that drill smooth the slides are good on it. And I love it. Absolutely love it, especially for the price What we did after I got the holes drill knees I just clamped the uh, plate up here and squared it up to the front <coughs> and uh, mark my holes I'm going to drill these holes in this piece with a, a size bigger bit that way they got some room to line up and I'll get both set plates lined up and drilled and bolted and I'll bolt this side on cut that side then I'll bolt that side on take this one back off and cut this side and uh, that way everything will stay lined up good and true I'm not going to cut nothing until I get everything um, drilled and ready. Alrighty. Now, here's where these drills really shine. Magnet on. See there, it's holding itself. Y'all be careful when you go turn your drill off that you don't turn your magnet off. It comes with a safety strap. I just, uh, Not using it right now. But if you want to be very high up or anything, uh, you'd probably want to use the safety strap in case your drill come unplugged or anything went on. Well, 
think it's gonna line up. Right here's one of the slugs that it drills out. Okay, now we got our Vivor plasma cutter hooked up to cut 50. And I've got these holes drilled. I've got that plate bolted up still. Now what I'll do, I'll come in here and cut this out right here, cut that loose. Then I'll bolt this plate on, take that and off, cut that loose and get it both bolted up and we'll be good to go. So basically all you gotta do is take these two bottom bolts out and they'll set right off and then uh, back on. Right real easy.
All right, that's a pretty easy job. On good and solid. Easy to take on and off. I think he'll be happy with that. And I'm happy with this v -bor. My grill. That is a really good grill. And the Vivor plasma cutter. Cut 50. Both of them's economically priced. Good homeowner usage. I, for the money, difference on that mag drill and the quality it is, I'd put it up against about anything. I'm very pleased with the mag drill. But uh, if y'all will, go check them out. And uh, I'll have links in the description for both the plasma cutter and the drill. And I um, highly recommend that drill if you do any, any metal work at all. But uh, appreciate you watching. If you will, please like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.